Hello and welcome to the Wavy Tunnel Pro Roadmap. Today we're going to take a look at Mama Stocks for 2023. My name is Jody Samuels and I started trading in the 80s with the US, uh, major US investment bank on Wall Street. And I've always used an Elliott Wave approach to trading the markets. And we developed a scanner which actually shows beautiful setups using the scanner on stocks. So that's what I'm going to present to you today. It's going to be a very short presentation. We're only going to look at five stocks. Please read the disclaimer to yourselves. Thank you very much. This is the roadmap on the left, the Wavy Tunnel Pro roadmap. It's an eight wave market cycle. We have a strong trend moving up and that's a strong trend moving up that moved up prior to this series correction over 2022. So this was the trend that moved up until the end of 2021. And this is the correction that we've had in many stocks, including these mama stocks over 2022. So now the question is, are we at the end of wave C? Are we ready to turn around and start to move up? How can we find the end of wave C? I'm going to show you our scanner, which shows us how to do that. And then we're going to look at these five stocks and see where we are in the market cycle, see if it's time to buy, if it's time to sell, if we are going to trade sideways for a while, if we need to buy on a dip, to buy on a corrective move down. So I isolated these five stocks on the scanner. So let's talk about Meta first. That's the top one. We want to look at the ready and the signal columns. This is called our breakout for alert system. And we have the ready and the signal. From looking at this, there are two stocks which are, are not ready and have not signaled. Meta is not ready and has not signaled. And Amazon is not ready and has not signaled. Google is ready and has signaled. And these are weeks, by the way. Microsoft is ready and has signaled. Apple is ready and is about to signal. So let's, I'm going to show you what the signal means when we look at the stocks themselves. So let's start with Meta. I have the weekly chart on the left and the daily chart on the right. So we said that Meta didn't trigger and it didn't signal. It wasn't ready and it didn't signal. And in our system, when it is ready, we have a gray dot. That's how it appears on the scanner. When we have a purple dot, it means that the market has corrected a lot more, has come down a lot more than the wave four should come down. And it doesn't mean that it's not a buy at this point. It just means that this is the end of a strong swing move. And when we have divergence, which you can see here, divergence, and then once we start to move to move up, this is the daily chart to the right, that's the signal to perhaps look for an initial move up to this tunnel. So here we snapped back. To, this is a moving average to the moving average on the daily and to the wave. This is the wave. We snapped back because the markets always snap back to the moving averages to find equilibrium. And then we traded sideways. We have a pretty serious sideways move here and then the market continued to move up and this is one of our trades that we take it's called the fill the gap trade filling the gap between this wave and this tunnel and and we filled the gap that doesn't mean that meta won't go higher but what it means is that it could pause for a bit and and retrace so that's what we need to look at with meta we want to look for some kind of a retracement before going in again now, it's quite possible that Meta traverses this tunnel and moves a little bit higher. That's what we usually see. And then we would see a wave two correction down, assuming that this is a wave one. So that's Meta. Not time to jump in here. You want It could go a little higher first, but then you want to wait for a wave two correction. Let's look at the scanner for Google now. And 12 weeks ago, it gave the ready signal. Eight weeks ago, it gave the signal. So let's look at the charts, and I'll explain that to you. The weekly chart, you can't see the gray dot here, but that was the ready. And the signal is when price goes above the filter. This is the, the EMA filter. So on this candle, it closed above, so that's how it generates the signal. And look what happened after that. It came down, giving a second chance 
to buy, and then it, it continued to move higher. So Google is an interesting stock. It has done three waves up on the daily chart. We have an ABC, a nice three-wave move, nice three-wave move on the weekly. I would say that buying on the dip is in order for Google as well. Trade was ready over here, and then the trade gives a signal once price goes above the filter. And sometimes on some stocks, when it goes above the filter, it just takes off. And in other cases, it trades sideways. It really just depends, and it depends what, you know, the tech stocks talks have been lagging, and that explains this price action. Now let's move on to the third stock. Microsoft is interesting. It too gave a ready 12 weeks ago and a signal 11 weeks ago. So let's have a look at Microsoft. On the left chart, the weekly, the gray circle, which you can't see, it's hidden by the bungees. That was the ready. And then the signal was when this candle closed above the filter. And what happened, it continued to move higher. And then it made a very strong retracement without making a new low and then started to head up again. And we can see it best on the daily chart where we moved up, we came down, and we moved down in nice three waves and then started to move up again, giving another chance to buy Microsoft. Now, Microsoft is an interesting buy. It looks like any dips are buyable on Microsoft. Amazon neither has a ready nor a signal. Let's have a look at the chart. Amazon formed a bottom in this area, so this is when it gave its first uh, ready end signal right over here. We had a gray dot, and we did have a nice move up in Amazon, and then it came down and took out this low. So now we have a purple, a purple dot, which is the end of the swing move, and the question is, are we ready to move up here, up from here or not? And it looks like we are. And the next move will be a move to the tunnel on the daily chart or a move into the wave on the weekly chart. And then we have to take it from there. Let's look at Apple now. Apple had a ready three weeks ago. And today it's going to give a signal because the price moved above that green moving average. Let's move to the chart. So it gave a signal here with the gray dot. And this was the ready saying it's possible that Apple isn't going any lower from here. Look at the smaller time frames to see if there's a setup to just get in on some momentum. And that means looking at the daily chart or looking at the four hour chart or even the hourly chart to look for a nice one, two, three reversal at the trigger point down here. And as you can see today, we had a very strong weekly candle, which did close above this moving average. So today Apple will provide what will give a signal as number one one week for apple there's some really strong momentum going on so we're when looking at the daily we can say that it's possible that apple continues to move higher a little bit more before having a retracement and definitely we'll look at apple retracements for getting in your stop is going to be below the lows so that about wraps it up for these stocks and i just want to tell you that the wavy tunnel pro 2023 five-day accelerated training program is starting with live coaching by me on february 26 2023 once you sign up at wavytunnelpro.com training starts immediately if you have any questions you can email me Jody at fxtradersedge.com or support at fxtradersedge.com. It's a very, very comprehensive program. We have tools for many different trading platforms, for Forex, for stocks, for futures. So come join us and we'll get you set up. WavyTunnelPro.com. We also have a funded program. So if you join, you get you get funded as well. Well, I look forward to seeing you, and I look forward to producing another one of these updates. Thank you.